<laughs> I want to take two minutes now just to explain the, the simplicity of paste fishing. First, we're going to mix a little bit of paste. I've got a bait box here. I'm just going to put a bit of water in that bait box. Quite simple. Bit of water. Take some swim stem. The correct way to mix the paste is this way because you don't add water to, to the dry mix. You add the mix to the water. This way, it absorbs the powder completely. This is green swim stem. As you can see, I'm mix it, mixing that into a complete sloth. Now this will continue to take on that water. So if you're fishing a match, pleasure fishing, mix up your paste in this way. Make sure it's all thoroughly absorbed like you can see now. So it's a complete slop. Now what that'll do in five minutes time, that will actually continue to take in the water and stiffen up considerably. What you'll end up with, you can see now it's stiffening, is a mix similar to this. So it's pliable. Sometimes you need to fish the paste very, very soft. Sometimes you can get, on Larford, you can get away with mixes like this that you can mould into a nice boily type bait. That will break down very, very quickly and is absolutely lethal for all the species here at Larford. I always fish it on the pole with a 1220 dual core elastic with a connector. Some people prefer a crow's foot, I like a connector. To this, I've got 0.22 diameter. Now that is mean, mean line. That's a breaking strain of over 10 pounds. But you do tend to get great big fish that come in for the paste. And the line diameter at 0.22 isn't over the top. You know, that's the equivalent to many three or four pound diameter lines, but you've got the strength with it. You'll see here now, I've got simply two number six shot bolt direct line through to a size 12 hook and that's an MT4 eyed hook. That's a hook that will do the job, it's a, it's a high forged strong hook ideal for the paste. To fish the paste, just take a piece of paste like this, just knead it in your fingers a little bit and drop the hook right in the middle of the paste, fold it over and mould it into a, I like a teardrop shape similar to this. And because this bait is so soft, it's very difficult to ship out. So as you can see on the pole, I've got an improvisation there. That's a, an aerosol top, quite simple. A little bit of elastic at the bottom to hold it in position. And I drop that paste into that pot. So the rig is hanging from the tip to the pot. That won't tangle and I can ship that out comfortably. I'm fishing the pole with a simple power kit fixed and one section. So I'm really looking at a line here where I'm fishing it quite close. Lean over, drop in the paste. Obviously I've plumbed the peg to absolute dead depth and you'll see that float now has actually just sunk. Pull it back, up the shelf a little bit and there you have it. That paste is sat beautifully on the bottom and straight away there was an indication there. Now with paste fishing, don't strike at silly bites. Wait until the float either rises up quickly or totally disappears. You know when that pace come off because the float will rise very high because the float is actually undershotted. There you go. Positive bite. Away she goes. And a pace fish. Not a big fish. Nevertheless, a pace fish. Now I've got the Maletto fitted in this, which I'll explain in a second or two. The Maletto is a device that will actually allow extra elastic towards or compared to a conventional elastification kit. I'll explain that in just a second. Just a small carp this time. There he is, paste fish. That's one of the little Larford stockies. Nice little fat fish. Now let me explain about the Maletto kit. When fishing at Larford or anywhere where there's big fish present, the biggest problem every angler has is that his elastic system can often bottom out. If it bottoms out, that's when poles can get broken, top kits can get pulled off, but nine times out of ten, it just simply breaks the rig. What we have here is the Maletto kit, and these are available now 
ready made for you. You can buy this from the shop, ready done for you. In the bottom here, you have the Maletto wheel. It's a double length of elastic that runs round an actual wheel on the comb. That elastic is anchored on the bungers thus, runs down the pole and on the base of the number two section there is a green nose comb where you can quite clearly see the double elastic is tied off to. Then the other elastic, the rest of the elastic runs through the middle of this um, cone and then through the tip of the section and is connected to your stompho. Now what you've effectively got there is twice the amount of elastic but the way it works when a fish runs it's like inertia with a seat belt. You have two elastics that running side by side okay so when a fish pulls the two elastics will actually run freely. When you actually pick up onto the fish putting the elastic under tension the two elastics join together one running this way one running this way so effectively you get what we call inertia like a seat belt it can lock the elastic but when the fish wants to run drop the pole down and the elastic runs freely now I've had fish taking almost 15 meters of elastic not had to put a section on and landed fish on this sort of kit without adding a section and landed fish to 27 pounds I'll just demonstrate it again same kit off my M57 which has got the nose cone, which is a black one in this case, same cone in the bottom. So this is geared for a big fish should one come along. Paste, don't worry about the size of the piece of paste, it's a big bait. That will quickly break down. Chip out over the baited area, drop in the paste. Again you'll see the float curve down and cock to the weight of that paste, that's absolutely spot on, pull it back over the shelf a little so that you get the bristle showing and fish on. This feels a bit of a better fish, not huge but pulling that old elastic. What a simple method of fishing as well you know, can't be simple, you see I'm just keeping that pole tip low letting the maletto do the work. No need to ship any sections on. Of course you'd know if it was a huge fish and you may have to ship the odd section or two. But I'm just latching onto that, letting the fish play itself against what is effectively almost a rod and reel on the end of that. There, it's collected itself as they do. And that elastic is doing its job absolutely perfectly in conjunction with the maletto system. Not a big fish, but nevertheless, most people would be actually shipping sections on at this point. I'm not. I'm just holding that fish, letting the maletto do its work. And the maletto actually gathers the elastic itself. There's no need to pump it back, it just does it. It gathers the elastic up and then just lifts simply. Nice little chunky carp. And there you have it, simplicity in itself. Maletto system, simple uh, pace fishing, which is very cheap. You know, fish like this, commonplace. Come and have a go at Larford on the pace because I'm telling you, it's great fun and it's cheap. And that is a day's fishing.